Let's solve this equation using the quadratic formula. We've got x squared minus 2x plus 8 equals 0. In order to use the quadratic formula, I have to have 0 on one side, and, and we do, so that's good. Um, you need to identify a, b, and c. a is numbers for your x squared, which is 1. b is your numbers for your x, which is negative 2. And c is your number at the end, which is 8. Our formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If you mess up on signs, it's probably a good idea to go through and put parentheses in everywhere you have a variable before you plug in your numbers. Now everything else remains exactly as is. We're just replacing the variables with sets of parentheses. Now everywhere we had a b in our formula, we'll plug in negative 2. Everywhere we had a a in our formula, we'll plug in 1. And everywhere we had a c, we'll plug in 8. Well, negative negative gives us a positive 2, plus or minus. Square root, negative 2 squared is 4 minus, 4 times 1 is 4 times 8 is 32, all over 2. Which gives us 2 plus or minus square root, 4 minus 32 is negative 28, over 2. Always you should simplify your radicals before you go on. So I've got 2 plus or minus square root, negative 1 times... 28 is 2 times 2 uh, times 7, all over 2. Now, member of the square root, we're looking for a pair of something. Here's a pair of 2, so that's going to come out as a single 2. And here we have a negative 1. That's going to come out as an i. So we've got 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 7 over 2. Now, whenever you have an imaginary part to your answer, you want to split it apart. Uh, the real part separate from the imaginary. So I'm going to take my real part, this 2 right here, put it over the 2, plus or minus 2 square root of 7 over 2 with an i to the side. Well, 2 divided by 2 is 1, plus or minus, those 2's cancel, and I got square root of 7 i. And that would be our answer, 1 plus or minus square root of 7 i.